Do you ever look at something and wonder what the heck am I doing? G'day! I am in my pyjamas so you know what that means. It's crafting time! Woohoo! Special feature, Taffeta, the dog. So Halloween is just around the corner and because of that I thought it would be a good time to at least start making some sort of cosplay even if I don't necessarily get it all finished. And what better way than some sort of witch's outfit. So while perusing around YouTube, I happened to find a little tutorial which is how to make a witch's hat out of foam by SKS Props. And I watched it and I was like, hey, I think I could do that. <clears throat> I'm gonna put you down now, okay? <laughs> So when I watched this tutorial in full, I was like, yeah, no problem. I think I've got some thin foam that I can use. No problem whatsoever. Except one slight issue. He used two millimeter foam and the thinnest I have is five millimeter. So you know what? We're just going to go for it. We're just going to try. We're going to make some adjustments and hopefully it will all work out. So join me and, uh, you know, use this as a tutorial if it works. And if it doesn't work, well, I guess it's comedy and you could laugh at my mess up. Let's get into it. Woohoo! Okay, so SKS Props was a little bit vague in regards to the actual measurements, so I had to go through the video and kind of pause and like look very closely at his writing uh, and then try and just guesstimate what they are. So I'm just going to go ahead and firstly mark up the cone, which I think I did find out was 16 inches. Uh, so I'm just going to do that one first and then we'll get on to the brim of the hat. So I've now got it all drawn out, so I'm going to use this wicked tool here, a uh, cutter, yeah, yeah, um, from Cos, Cos uh, Tools, they're great, I, I actually really love this knife. But I'm going to cut it out, hopefully in a smooth motion and not too many jagged lines. Did I mention I'm a seamstress? I don't really use foam all that much, so <laughs> yeah, let's try something new. So. Here we have the cone, and essentially that will wrap up like this to create an absolutely perfect cone with no imperfections whatsoever. There absolutely will be imperfections, let's be real here. All right, that part is done. Let us continue on with the brim. All right, so what I've got here is a piece of paper with some dots. Now, this <laughs> this uh, caused me a little bit of, of issue because I was trying to figure out the lengths uh, that was on his ruler um, because I couldn't find them when I printed them out and I wasn't sure if my scaling was to size. My dogs are playing behind me. All right, so <laughs> in regards to this, what I've done is I've kind of guesstimated that which he had like the other one I could find that it was 16 inches written somewhere but this one I really wasn't 100% sure you gave me courage though didn't you Lacey anyway so the distance between this point and the first point is three and a half inches I'm going to give that a crack it might be four I don't know I've got a buff head we'll just have to see uh and then this one over here is nine and a half inches for the broom the, the broom <sighs> for the brim I'm just thinking about everything witch related. So this here is the distance of essentially where the hat comes out, <laughs> the brim. So I think that's a decent size. Um, what? Well, I guess we'll just make it and see. But that's the measurement that I'm using. So I'm going to stick this into the foam. I'm going to draw the two circles and then cut them out. And hopefully it will be nice and smooth again. <laughs> That is what I'm left with. It got a bit wonky up the top there and that's because uh, it kind of went off the cutting mat area. But you know what? We're just gonna cut it out to the best of our abilities and hopefully it will be fine. Beautiful. Yay. It got all cut out in one go. Well, two goes technically, but it's not jagged. Also, this is not sponsored. However, this foam, which is wonderful, is by Play by Proxy, a great Perth-based organization. Love you guys. Hey, look! I made a hole! <laughs> I'm a 
and donut. This can be my Halloween costume. All right. Oh yeah, that's a cute. That's a cute kind of size. Though it's really tight. Though if it just sits on the back of my head like that, that's cute, right? We could do it like that. Have like a cool little thing happening. I need to hit this up so I can get it straight. I think I'm gonna do that before I connect them. Yeah, I think so. But I'm just, I'm wondering if I need to make this bigger. All right, I'm gonna ponder this for a little bit. I'll catch you soon. So I've just used a heat gun and I am now pressing them all down flat with my My Hero Academia mangas that I ordered on a whim because I got the first eight for my birthday from my friend Reva and I've kind of become obsessed, more so than I already was. So uh, I'm just gonna continue reading and let these kind of uh, shape out the way that I need them to. And gee, I wonder, which series do you think it could be that I'm going to be doing a witch's outfit from? Hmm. All right, so it's been about half an hour and these are all really flat now, which is great. Um, and I didn't cut any more of the donut in the middle here because it's a good shape. Um, it sits quite nicely on the head and if I pull it a bit, it does come down. Foam stretches a bit, so it's great. But um, this kind of reminds me of like My Fair Lady currently, which is great. Uh, it's a good size, I'm really happy about that. So the next thing I need to do is I need to glue this into the cone shape. And then with that, then I will need to clip the edges of the center of here slightly, put that over this and then glue that together and then cut around the lips of the inside of this one and kind of glue them upwards. So gonna do that now. I've got my little whoop, super glue. The nib's just folded on the ground, but let's uh, crack this open and glue it all together. Super glue. Let's open up this bad boy. All right, there we go. Oh, all right. So the thing about this is that um, with the demonstration, the previous one, because it was only two millimeter, they actually just kind of folded the foam over itself uh, to create this kind of seam. However, I actually want to do it like that, like flush against it. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start from the bottom, work my way up to as much as the top that I can. And then I'm just going to squish it together and do something. It doesn't have to be perfect, right? This is not a competition piece. I have to like keep reminding myself of this. So let's do that now. Oh, oh no. <laughs> super glue, super glue. I hate the feeling of super glue on my fingers. All right, so now the cone is all complete. <laughs> Dumb to sad. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to cut little slits all around the bottom, and then I'm gonna turn them inwards. The tutorial that SKS Props puts out um, puts it going outways uh, because then they cover it with like a ribbon. However, I'm actually going to be covering mine with a different type of ribbon, like a real ribbon. So I don't wanna necessarily do that because I've not yet finalized if I'm using like a clear ribbon or if I'm back with something oh anyway I want it all really nice and smooth so I'm actually going to be um, turning it inwards and then what I've done is I've marked out I don't know if it will show these little kind of points which are which basically make <laughs> uh, all of it very even so I'm hoping that once I am able to turn them in um, with all the cuts then I will be able to glue them and then line it up pop it down and with any luck it will line up, it will be perfect, and then it will um, be center. <laughs> it's a little scary, but um, yeah, and that way it's all smooth and, um, and nothing poking out from the side. So I'm going to do that now. Do you ever look at something and wonder what the heck am I doing? That's how I feel about this. Um, look, it wasn't staying uh, bent in as easily as one would hope. So I used um, pegs 
So I'm just gonna let that cool down from the heat gun. Hey, don't touch the heat gun, girls. But yeah, <laughs> we're getting there. <laughs> All right, it's been um, about 15, 20 minutes, so I'm gonna take off all of the pegs. And they have left a mark, but that's okay, because I'm over it. <laughs> it's fine, honestly. Like, it's gonna be covered by the ribbon. I should have just done it the easy way, but oh well. It's fine. I was trying to be clever. What did we learn? Don't try and be clever. But, you know, that is a part of cosplaying, is experimenting and having fun. And if it's not, you know, if it's not for a cosplay competition, uh, which this is not, then you can certainly just go and have fun and try new things. So that's exactly what I've done here. So they're really been in now. So I'm just gonna move them out a bit and press them down as flat as I can. And then I'm gonna glue them onto that circle. All right, here is how we are looking at the moment. Yes, very pointy, very kind of Elphaba from uh, Wicked. Or Elphaba actually I think may have a crook in her hand. I'm not sure, but very classic Wicked Witch look. So what we're gonna do is we're actually going to try and follow the tutorial here. And I'm going to try and bend this. But before I bend it into its new shape, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put some um, wire into the back where the seam is. So I'm gonna grab my wire, we're gonna clip it down, I'm gonna get little pieces of foam, and I'm gonna glue that in. And fingers crossed, it's all gonna work. <laughs> This is all just such a huge experiment for me. I've got my wire and basically I need to cut off as much as what it would be to uh, go from the top to where the brim is. So that would be about that much. All right very scientific it's very mathematical here all right there we go so there is my piece of wire Ugh, get straighter please it's gonna be easy to work with you if you're straighter than the curve that you come from so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to firstly cut off a little bit of this I've got my little piece I'm gonna put the ends I'm going to protect the ends so they don't, you know, poke out and, you know, hurt me. There we go. Look, it's like a little marshmallow. I'm ready to go roasting. Or is someone in the comments going to roast me? Oh, oh I went there. All right, let's do another one. I've got my double-ended marshmallow and I'm going to pop it into my hat and then I'm going to glue it in with strips going across. So stay tuned while I do that. Uh, but my battery is flashing, I need to charge it. All right, very quickly, there you go. The wire is in there and you can see I've put some pieces of foam just at the top, top of it just to kind of secure it in place. I'm gonna let that dry for a little bit before I bend it into shape. And then the base of this is done and I can cover it all with um, the white glue just to kind of prime it before I paint it. So it's coming along, it's coming along. It's not the prettiest thing, but it's fine. She's not winning any beauty contests here, but uh, it'll be fine. I realized that before I start filling it, I just watched a bit more of the tutorial again, and I realized that I need to uh, fill about half the cone with uh, polyfill, so I'm gonna do that now. And there we go, that's basically half the cone. All right, groovy. There we go, all done. So now I just need to uh, bend it into shape, right? <laughs> I feel like my hair is becoming more and more like just crazy the more that I do this, but that's kind of on brand. Okay, moment of truth. Let's try and bend this into some kind of shape that looks like, like a curl or something like that. Yep, <laughs> let's just do it, let's just do it. This would have been a lot easier if it was two mil foam. <laughs> That's kind of what I'm getting at the moment. I'm gonna play around with this and I'll come back 
to see you all you guys later. Good morning, it's a brand new day and I have primed my hat and this is what it looks like. Yeah. Ta-da! So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to paint it. So the top is going to be all black and then the bottom is going to be like a red with the spiderweb kind of design on it. That's the plan at least. But to start it all off, I'm going to paint the top all in black and after, after that's all dry and done the brim thing, then I'll be adding some kind of highlights and lowlights and all of that. But let's just get the paint on it first, shall we? Let's do it. All right, so the first coat of black is down. I think I'll need probably another one just to kind of even it all out. Did a pretty good job. I wish that I had spray paint, but oh well, such is life, acrylic paint it is. So yeah, just now I have to let this dry and not rush it. Staring at it apparently does not make it dry faster. What a shame. Uh, but yeah, join me as I do the next coat or I start doing the red. I'll decide later. Okay, so this is where we're up to at the moment. It's had its first layer of paint on it and I actually used this one, which is a cool red. Um, and I thought it would be all fine. I was like, yeah, the hat's definitely red. Like, it looks, if it's a cool red, it will be cool and that's fine. But um, then I realized after looking at the reference image that I'm using for this, it's a little bit more of like a pink magenta. So the second coat, I'm going to go over with this magenta and hopefully make it just that little bit more magenta-ish. Yeah, my brain's not working at the moment. But here's a lacy. There's a lacy. Yeah. Okay, it's day three. <laughs> Paint takes a long time to dry, I've discovered, in, uh, in winter. So the tops are all black and then underneath is like a bit of a streaky kind of red magenta kind of thing going on. It's fine. I think it adds character. Uh, so we're going to add the uh, the cobweb pattern to underneath it. Uh, and once we've done that and that is dried, then what we're going to do is we're going to add the ribbon. Uh, and I think I'll put a comb into the front of it just because that way it will stay on my head. Because at the moment, kind of like, this is what it looks like. Like, we, um, And it kind of falls off my head. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little comb in the front so I can actually stick it into the wig and that way it can balance really cutely on the head. That is my plan. So I'm going to do the cobwebs. So what I've done is I've mixed up some cool red with some black. So it's like quite close to black but not quite there yet. So now I'm just going to paint out the lines and then I'll start connecting them. And hopefully I've got enough paint. We shall see. I'm a little bit concerned I don't. But, oh well, I'll mix up some more and if it's slightly different colour, not the end of the world. It will do. <laughs> Alright, now I just have to let this dry before I flip it over and, um and do the ribbon and put in the comb and then she's done. So while this is drying, it's getting there, I'm gonna take this ribbon, which is this really lovely wired uh, organza and satin purple ribbon with some gold through the middle and on the sides. And I'm gonna back it with this plain purple ribbon, which is a very good match, but basically it just does that and that way it's not see-through um, because organza right so I'm going to sew those together and this will be going around the outside of the hat and create a little fancy bow on the side so gonna prep all this so that once that's dry I can get this on and then the comb in and then this bad boy is done Welcome to the third lot of pajamas <laughs> that I'm wearing in this kind of adventure. It's been three days, so you know, it's fine. Um, what I have here is I've got my hat. I tried to do some highlights on this this, uh, this afternoon. It did not work, so I've just gone back over with black paint and just redone it. And you know what? In the light, it's kind of picking up where it's meant to be picking up anyway, so 
I'm not gonna try and put something fake on there. But, you know, this is where we're up to. This is how it's looking. Mm -hmm. So the last thing that I need to do is the ribbon, as I mentioned before. So I need to wrap this around and glue it down to the right hand side and then create a bow. Uh, the good thing is that this is wide, so hopefully that should be okay. And then once that's done, I will be adding this little comb to the front of it. So that way I can actually slide it into my wig and that it will sit on my head uh, because of the fact that this doesn't really sit on my head all that well. It will come off quite easily. So it's always good to, you know, make sure that you secure anything that you're wearing on your head, whether that be wigs themselves or things that you put on top of the wigs, like hats or, you know, bones. I don't know. What are you going to put in your head? Just go for it. So this is the finished look. <laughs> look, I had so much fun making this. It was definitely outside of my comfort zone. And using foam is like just a whole new world to me. Well, not a whole new world. Of course, I've used it before. But, you know, this is the first time I've made a hat out of foam. And, you know, for a first attempt, not too shabby. What I learned was that this really should be made out of two or three millimeter foam, not five. It is a little bit hard with the bending side of things. I didn't get quite as much of that fold in the back of the hat that I wanted. But overall, I think it's really, really cute. It is actually super light. Of course, it's foam. But, you know, ah, uh, yes. <laughs> As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this. If you did, make sure you give us a like and a little comment and why not subscribe while you're at it. You know, all that good stuff. If you're planning on doing some sort of Halloween outfit today, make sure you leave that in the comments because I would love to know what you're planning on doing, especially if it's cosplay related. And guess what, guys? I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!